Hello friends, once again I welcome you in this lecture. In last lecture we had seen which elements are essential for composing the drama. Two most important things we had discussed in detail in last lecture, which were the one was the imagination and another yes the dialogue. Actually when we are studying the drama as a critic the elements of the drama are different. When the writer or the protagonist is going to write the drama, he has to think very differently. So both of the things are very different. As you are the students and if you have been given a text, you will study the elements of drama as plot, characters, dialogue, setting, stage direction, point of view, conflict, unities of the drama. But while writing the script, dramatist needs all these things because he needs to amplify all these things. The dramatist doesn't need to study which elements have been coming in his drama. He has to put these elements in his script. Without putting these elements, his drama will not be a drama, his script will not be a proper script. So, in last lecture we had studied the imagination of the dramatist. Without imagination, there is no drama at all. Without imagination, there is no transformation at all. So, imagination is most important thing. And for imagination, what is essential? Just I am going to revise the things which we had seen in the last lecture. What is important in the imagination? Your mind should wander here and there and observe and just consume all the things which are around you. When you are going to pick up all these things, then and then your power of imagination develops. So only those people can imagine whose observation power is great. Who lose their mind to wander here and there without any restriction. Those and only those people can imagine very well. Because imagination is the base of all the developments in the world, all the good creations in the world, all the transformations in the world. So imagination is not only just important thing in creation of the drama or novel or poetry or one actually. Imagination is important in everything. When an engineer makes the graph or map of any place or building, he imagines. Any architect, when he wants to make any structure, he wants to imagine. When he, any sculpture, when he wants to make any statue, he wants to imagine. So without imagination, there is no world at all. So, when imagination is such a basic thing for creating all these things, you might have understood how much imagination is important while composing the drama. Then we have seen the dialogue. Dialogue in the form of language. Because what is essential for the dialogue? Language. Language is the base of the dialogue. And without language, one cannot write the dialogues. So dialogues are most powerful, important when, when the language is important and most powerful. Then uh, it is not necessary to go in detail about the features of language that language should have some figures of speech, figures of thought, or language should be sublime and all that things because it is a natural process for the, for, uh, the writer to collect the knowledge of uh, the language and to uh, absorb the features of the language so that he is possible to write the good script of the drama. He is possible to compose uh, best dialogues in the drama. For example, I would like to just give the example of uh, uh, some uh, beautiful uh, dramas, uh, William Shakespeare's drama, Hamlet. In Hamlet, Shakespeare wrote only one sentence which became famous all over the world what was that sentence 
to be or not to be that is the question see very simple life to be or not to be that is the question मैं जीव या मरु यही एक ही सवाल है ओनली सिंपल सेंटेंस बट द सेंटेंस चेंज द लाइव ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ द पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड एंड इवन द सेम सेंटेंस हैज बीन यूज्ड टू वेरियस प्लेसेस इवन बाय द सेम सेंटेंस थाउजेंड्स ऑफ द ड्रामेटिक वर्क्स हैव बीन प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द वर्ल्ड सो हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट द डायलॉग्स इन इन द क्रिएशन ऑफ द स्क्रिप्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ the third element which is most important while creating the drama is plot you might have little idea about plot in last year in sy we have studied one drama and one novel in both of the uh, masterpieces you have the touch of the plot or at least you know the definition of the plot and if you don't know here i will just revise all those things which we had studied in last year or the last before what is plot plot is the systematic presentation of any art so that the audience the readers the observers will easily have a banquet of that artistic thing no you didn't understand okay so i will explain it in simple way plot means what to present a drama in such a way by which you will understand very easily means dramatist needs to put up any art in such a way by which the audience or the readers will easily capture it no okay i will uh, just explain uh, the two things side by side so that you will understand the difference between uh, plot and the story in story you know what happens in story we have the events or incidents one by one one by one one by one systematically these events have been put up first of all if you want to tell the story of uh, some uh, great uh, uh, historian or great king of the history for example shivaji maharaj who has created maharashtra in story what we will put up first of all the birth of shivaji maharaj the childhood of shivaji maharaj the youth of shivaji maharaj his performance and at least his death so this is the hierarchy of the chain according to the time it is the chronology of the events it takes place only in what only in the story then what is the difference between plot and story in plot we have all these events all these scenes but these scenes do not come chronologically these scenes do not come according to the time these scenes come randomly randomly means it is randomly for us but it is not randomly for the script writer he puts all these events and situations very systematically perhaps he will show shivaji maharaj in this way that uh, he is in his middle he just uh, Uh, going to war and winning the battles then step by step his journey begins backward then some flashbacks would be mixed up so that it is possible for the dramatist to show his childhood then journey again will go ahead in his past or in coming days all these things takes place in the plot of the drama means in short i would like to tell you plot is a systematic presentation of different scenes in the drama so that the audience will capture or consume the piece of art very systematically and it will make the house of it in your heart at the bottom of your heart so plot is most important thing in the level or in the creation of the script who creates the script who writes the script director no then who dramatist playwright both of the words are similar to each other synonyms to each other dramatist and playwright playwright uh, do you have do you know the spelling of playwright playwright most of the students commit a mistake while uh, writing the spelling of playwright the students write p l a y w r 
I T E. But it's the wrong spelling. What is the proper spelling? P L A Y W R I G H T. It is the spelling of playwright. So uh, it is most important thing to share with you. You know because what happened? Let me tell you one funny incident. When I was in M A. Uh, one of my friends committed a mistake while writing the spelling of Shakespeare. He had just committed a very small mistake while uh, uh, writing the spelling of Shakespeare. He had forgotten to write the E, letter E at the end. But the teacher got angry a lot on that student and he told that if you are unable to write the spelling of Shakespeare properly, how will you acquire the knowledge of Shakespeare? That is why. I shared with the with you the spelling of playwright. Most of you commit mistakes, and even you just ask yourself, what is the spelling of playwright? You may uh, be right or wrong. When you are wrong, you have to make it right. So now let me jump to another thing, which is most important for composing the drama or writing the script. What will be that? Just guess. We have seen imagination. We have seen dialogue. We have seen plot. Now, what is important? Who are essential for leading the dialogues? Who are essential for leading the plot? Imagine. Yes, they are the characters. Characters are most important to lead the dialogue, to talk the dialogue. Who will talk in the drama? Without character, is it possible to perform the drama? No. So characters are they? They are imaginative for the playwright, but they are actual for the director because director needs the physical substances or the characters in the form of physical substances on the di uh, dice or on the stage. But the script writer doesn't need to have the physical substances in the form of character. So what is essential? He had just to imagine. Again, imagination point came here. The writer needs to create the characters by his imagination. Sometimes he may borrow the characters from history. Some may, time he may borrow the characters from original society. Sometimes he may borrow the characters from other country. But he will create the characters. These characters will be genuine. These characters will be different. These characters will be lifelike. These characters will show the similarity between you and your life. So it happens and the writer needs to collect the same characters. In last lecture, even I had differentiated two kinds of characters. What are the flat characters and the round characters? It was just a little information for the uh, background of the drama but right now it is very essential to understand in detail about the importance of the characters while writing the script so what are uh, features of the characters or which kind of characters should be taken while writing the script while writing the script the writer needs to select different kind of characters he needs male and female he needs the characters of different ages he needs sometimes the children he needs sometimes uh, the youths he needs sometimes the old persons he needs sometimes the protagonistic character he needs sometimes the antagonist characters he needs sometimes the chaotic characters he needs sometimes the caricatures just see which kind of characters are there around us we didn't you ever imagine which people are which kind of people are around us different kind of people are around us just i uh, segregated or classified all these people into different kind of characters once again i will revise kuch log acche hote hain sab log unko mante hain wo people heroic hote hain kuch log aise hote hain log kehte hain are iska sir iska चेहरा देखने के बाद मुझे वक्त जाता नहीं दिन अच्छा नहीं जाता सच टाइप ऑफ पीपल आर देयर इन द सोसाइटी एंड द ड्रामेटिस नीड्स टू कलेक्ट ऑल दिस पीपल टू ब्रिंग ऑल दिस पीपल इन हिज स्क्रिप्ट बट इट डजेंट मीन दैट ही नीड्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ पीपल एट अ टाइम इन हिज स्क्रिप्ट ही जस्ट सिलेक्ट्स ही जस्ट टेक सैंपल सैंपल फ्रॉम एवरी काइंड ऑफ क्वालिटी 
sometimes they, they, he would be good the character would be good character would be bad character would be villainous character would be lazy character would be whatever it means here the writer needs to select characters which work as a medium in the drama which kind of they talk the dialogue they perform the action they lead the masses of the writer to the audience so character is in this way they just connect many things all together for example the characters talk the dialogue characters perform the actions and characters deliver the message to the audiences so this information is enough about the characters which are most important while writing the scripts now <coughs> the fifth element that is setting i will uh, discuss about the setting and then i will stop the lecture so why the setting is important in the drama and how the writer or the dramatist think about the setting just let me explain it with uh, various examples while writing a drama in one of plays by william shakespeare he had selected the uh, setting of rome but the other scene was in denmark so was it possible to lead or to carry all the characters from rome to denmark impossible so how does director change the setting director just pick up changes all the things around him uh, he might ha hang the calendar to show the time for example first scene was in uh, 1990 and another scene is in 2020 after 30 years so just he will change the page or the what we will say a uh, page of the calendar and uh, then uh, he will uh, show to the audience that ah, yes 30 years ago this scene was uh, taken place to this place and uh, right now the same so the characters are the same but some of them are off some of them are very old so those who were just children they are young today this is such type of things will happen and uh, this is the mechanism of the writer or the playwright and he has to put up very systematically in his script uh there is a modern writer uh, gb shaw he was a good director and he had studied the direction very carefully so he had ideas about uh, directing the plays so he was essential to understand what what was essential to understand he was essential to give the proper instructions to his characters so while reading the dramas of gb shaw you will get the big introductions after uh, the dialogues of the characters his, uh, his play is a script is filled with full of notifications notices indications and uh, ideas which are pick up in the bracket of the drama bracket of the dialogues or in brackets in short so in setting many times particularly in modern period the uh, dramatists give the proper idea of the setting in ancient age uh, the writers were unable or uh, they didn't think about the setting they just thought that yes uh, it is the duty of the uh, director and he will set up according to his own idea but the modern playwrights are not allowing to anybody to give the proper setting uh, for the proper setting uh, for the director otherwise or uh, other side of it uh, if we think about it the setting is also most important thing because at a uh, same time when the audience are enjoying the uh, drama they have to uh, travel from one place to play, uh, to another place at the from sitting at the same place it means one scene takes place at rome another uh, scene will take place in uh, uh, germ uh, berlin another will take place in moscow 
ऑडियंस आर एट द सेम प्लेस कैरेक्टर्स आर एट द सेम थिएटर बट इट इज अ स्किल ऑफ द डायरेक्टर टू शो इट विथ डिफरेंट आइडियाज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द डायरेक्टर वॉन्ट्स टू शो द न्यूयॉर्क सिटी वट विल ही इमेजिन पर ही विल पुट द पिक्चर ऑफ द बिग स्टैच्यू ऑफ फ्रीडम एट द बैक साइड ऑफ द स्क्रीन सो दैट ऑडियंस विल अंडरस्टैंड द सीन इज गोइंग ऑन इन न्यूयॉर्क इन दिस वे स्टेज और सेटिंग ऑफ द ड्रामा इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग विदाउट सेटिंग और विदाउट हैविंग अ प्रॉपर आइडिया ऑफ द सेटिंग द ड्रामेटिस्ट will fail at one side and the director will fail at another side to present the drama properly on the dais so setting is i will not call it uh, as a backbone of the drama the most important why because uh, while performing the role the characters needs to expose various situations and situations are concerned with the setting setting is what the place where the play is taking place setting is just a thing by which the director and the script writer uh, get helped to perform their characters for delivering a proper message to the audience so setting is everywhere in every drama most important Uh, let me uh, take you the uh, tell you the example of kalidas drama kalidas shakuntala you might have heard a lot about this drama this drama setting or drama takes place at various nagars or various uh, towns which ideas had been used by the uh, script writer kalidas he had kept the most important symbols of a particular city on the stage so that the audience may understand that ha huh, here uh, th- this symbol is here it means this uh, town is uh, nalanda or this town is uh, uh, mumbai any any town uh, it means what the places can be changed in the drama and when the places are changed one by one audience keep their uh concentration properly on the ideas which have been uh, discussed or delivered through the characters in this way setting is most important thing while decorating developing uh, increasing imposing the drama so i hope you might have understood these uh, three elements these three elements i discussed so once again i, I would like to repeat in short these three elements which are very essential for composing the drama those elements are plot characters and setting as you are the writer you should concentrate on all the things very systematically so that you will come up with the things and these things will help you to create a good art because drama is a art which transforms the human life in this way uh, these three elements we have discussed in this lecture now in next lecture i will discuss two uh, other most important two or uh, yes three other most important things which are point of view conflict and unities of the drama writer has to think these three elements in detail so that he may succeed while writing the script okay thank you thank you very much